Global Center, the center of life, an excerpt from Religion Without God. How one should find the internal center that is mentioned by Lao Tse and develop it further. Naval center is indeed the center of life. This is the way for new man to emerge. Sit with your eyes closed and think, where is the center of my body? We live through our body, but it is an unfortunate fact that we do not give any thought to the center of our body. We are completely ignorant of the pivot on which the body functions. Many believe that head is the center of the body and body functions because it is in the brain that all activities seem to take place. The fact is, however, that brain forms much later. When child is conceived, there is no brain and yet life functions. But that which is formed later cannot verily be the center. People who are emotional, like most women, artists, poets, feel the center to be the heart because whatever these people have known and experienced, love, beauty and the like, certainly these things have had a direct impact on their heart. That is why when people talk of love, naturally their hand goes to their heart. So those who are emotional take heart to be the center of the body. But the heart does not beat until the child takes the first breath. In the embryo state and the fetus, the child breathes because of the mother's breathing. The child hears the mother's heart beat within Therefore, the sound tick tick causes not only children but also adults to fall asleep. The sound of water dripping or the ticking of a watch induces sleep naturally. Doctors say that the ticking of a clock is a very good tranquilizer. The heart in the embryo state does not function like a heart and yet the child is alive. Therefore, heart also is not the center. Lao Tse says the navel is the center and not the heart or the brain. Neither heart nor brain is the center instead. Navel is the center. The child is joined to the mother by its navel through umbilical cord. The first glimpse of life comes through the navel. This is scientifically correct and meditation is the umbilical cord that connects you to the existence. Indeed, meditation is the umbilical cord that connects you to the existence. So search deep within, Lao Tse says. Keep searching within and bring your consciousness to the level of the navel center that is the first step of austerity. When authentic center and the center of your understanding become one, normally this navel center does not become the center of your understanding. We keep on saying that this one lives by heart, that one lives by brain, this is a head man and that is the emotional man. We do not understand. So navel center is the authentic center but it does not become your center of understanding. When this authentic center and the center of your understanding become one, you will be united, integrated, harmonized and whole. When the center of your mind and center of your consciousness and your authentic center concentrate 
and converge into a single focus, you will find that your life has changed. You are now a new person altogether. You are totally transformed. This is the birth of a new man, integrated and harmonized within and without. Lao Tzu's disciples have for ages been carrying out a simple experiment to prove that you cannot grow unless you locate your center. And this center has to be located within, not anywhere outside. The experiment is this. Take two small tanks of equal dimension. Fill them with water. Immerse an iron rod in the middle of one tank, leaving the other as it is. Take two identical fish and put one in each tank. Give the same condition and the same diet. Given the same condition and the same diet, you will be surprised to find that the fish in the tank with iron rod in the center develops quickly, whereas the growth of the fish in the other tank, which is without the central rod, is slower. The fish in the former tank swims around and around the road, while the fish in the second tank has no center. It swims here and there listlessly in the absence of a center and is also more prone to illness. This experiment has been religiously carried out by the followers of Lao Tse for hundreds of years. And it has always been found that the fish in the tank with the center rod has always been well developed and healthy, whereas the fish in the other tank was stinted in growth and was unhealthy. The followers of Lao Tse maintain that a person who succeeds in locating his center finds his consciousness revolving around the center. It is only then that his consciousness begins to develop. Those who do not find their centers remain inhibited, impeded, and listless like the fish in the second tank. Because they have no center, no base around which they can revolve and develop, they cannot find their direction, where they should go, what they should do. By revolving around the same circumference, the consciousness develops, Lao Tse says. Your consciousness becomes concentrated when it discovers the navel center. Then it begins to revolve around it. When you walk, keep your attention on the navel. When you sit, keep your mind on the navel. When you get up, be aware of the navel. Do what you will but let your consciousness always move around the navel. Become a fish and go round and round and round the navel and you will soon discover a new powerful consciousness arising within you. The results are wondrous. There are many experiments that you can carry out. You are sitting on a chair. Now Lao Tse says, your way of sitting on the chair is wrong. Therefore you get tired. He says, do not sit on the chair. This does not mean you are not actually to sit on the chair. That you should sit on the ground. Lao Tse said, Sit on the chair, but do not put your weight on the chair. Put all your weight 
on the knee. Now we sit down, we sit and lean backward to the seat on the couch. Weight is not on the navel. You can carry out the experiment right away. It is a matter of emphasis. When we put all our weight on the chair, the emphasis is in the chair. The chair becomes the all in all. You are merely like a coat hanging on a peg. If the peg breaks, you fall down. Like a coat which has no center of its own and which depends on the peg for its center. Lao Tzu says you will tire yourself this way because you are not acting like an animate conscious being and are depending entirely on an inanimate object, the chair. Continue, sit on the chair but be fixed at your own center at navel. Hang everything on the peg of the navel. Hours will go by and you will find no sign of fatigue. If a man begins to live by hanging his consciousness on the peg of navel center, all mental fatigue vanishes. A unique freshness a unique freshness pervades his mind, a serene calmness flows within him and he gains a self-confidence which only those who have found their center can attain. So the first step of this austerity is to find your center and then to continue your efforts till Consciousness reaches not only the navel but two inches below the navel. That's where the center is or this is also called Bihara. Then one should begin to keep this center always in mind. When one breathes in, this center should rise up and when one breathes out, this center should go down. Then a constant Jap or repetition begins. The rising of the center with the incoming breath and the falling of the center with the outgoing breath. If this becomes a conscious act, it yields great results. This is very difficult of course in the beginning because the remembrance is the most difficult thing to do. Constant remembrance is even more difficult. You might say that is not such a difficult thing at all. I can recollect the name of a person even after six years. This is not remembrance. This is recollection or smriti. There is a vast difference between remembrance and recollection. Understand the difference. Recollection means you know something, you pass it on to your memory for recording. The memory stores this information and reproduces it on demand. Remembrance is smaran as it is called in Hindi. It means a constant non-stop remembering, a constant non-stop remembering. Try it a little. Observe the rising and falling of your abdomen as the breath comes in and goes out for five minutes. After two seconds you will find that you have forgotten. You have started to do something else. Then you will be perturbed. You could not concentrate for even two seconds. The respiration was going on as usual and the abdomen also rose and fell accordingly, but you were not there. Then again bring back your remembrance. If you strive continuously, your remembrance will increase second by second. 
then you will find that you can observe the breath constantly without a simple break for three minutes and this short interval of three minutes will seem like three years then you will find that you have begun to experience the center correctly then you will feel the body to be separate from the center the center is the center of energy one who is united to this center reaches infinite adoration because he is constantly receiving infinite energy an unfathomable reservoir of energy he has reached so keep a constant remembrance of the navel center and let your consciousness revolve around it consciously and constantly that is the temple keep circling around this temple whatever be the state within you whether there is anger or hatred jealousy or misery happiness or sorrow whatever be the state your first duty is return to the navel then do whatsoever you wish someone gives you news of the death of a beloved one go back to the navel then let the news go within you Lao Tzu says that no one's death will cause a blow to the mind. You may not have observed or perhaps you have or may, maybe you realize later on recollecting the incident that whenever you have been given the news of great joy or sorrow the first effect has always been on the neighbor. You are walking on the road or cycling or going in a car and suddenly an accident occurs. The first impact is on the navel. It begins to tremble. Then the whole body begins to follow the process of trembling. Lao Tzu says whenever anything happens, go back first to your navel center. Your first work is remembrance of the navel. Then do whatever you like. Then happiness will not make you mad with joy and sorrow will fail to make you unhappy. Then your center will stand apart from the happening that take place on the periphery. Then you remain the witness only Yoga says, practice the austerity of witnessing. Lao Tzu says, remember the navel center constantly and the witness state will result on its own. You will step outside the birth and death the day you become conscious of your navel center. Because this center comes into existence before birth and is the only thing that remains even after death. When all else is lost, so he who knows and recognizes his navel center knows that there is no birth for him or death. He becomes beyond birth and death both. Keep constant remembrance. Seek the center and keep incessant remembrance. First thing is to do, first thing to do is to find the center. The second is to keep on remembering it and third to remember the frequent loss of the remembrance that you have forgotten to remember this. This is going to be rather difficult however. People come to me and say I try to keep my attention on the navel but I cannot. What should I do? Keep attention on the fact that you have lost attention. Make it a part of your meditation. Be attentive to inattention as well. 
do not let it pass unnoticed by you whenever you slip be conscious of this slip and you will go back to remembrance the current of meditation will join the main stream again now one last thing is to remember is there to remember when the remembrance is complete and the center becomes clear to you and you experience the center then surrender everything to the center say to the center you alone are the master release me the surrender is easy surrender is very difficult until the center is experienced people say surrender to god but we have no knowledge of god how to surrender to an unknown entity possible and even if god is known you will still remain the owner of your surrender you will feel sometimes that god is not to your taste you will withdraw your surrender then what can god do we are the giver and we are the withdrawers what can god do then but the surrender that can be withdrawn at will is not surrender in any way in fact it was never a surrender the method that lao tse gave is different lao tse says the day center is known and felt you will begin to understand and experience that the center is the master that does not need your assistance the breath comes and goes on its own sleep comes then awakening birth happens then death the current of life flows on from the center without any help from you then the question of surrendering does not arise because surrender has just happened so the third and the last stage of austerity to experience the surrender to the center this is the third and the last stage of austerity then there is no way for ego to save itself in the state of such surrender a person reaches the highest attainment the ultimate the ultimate flowering happens